of, of, of trying to um, contain a movement that would really otherwise be erupting, that there's so many um, movement leaders inside and there are young people inside who would be doing, you know, a lot of kind of the change that we really need to see happen. So um, it's really a form of repression as well as a way that they are profiting. So I'd like to turn over to Teresa Schultz. Teresa. So with, with every stand that you take, and we're taking a stand to address the issue of what's going on in California and even right here in Pennsylvania, we're in front of one of the biggest um, county prisons here in Philadelphia. We must take the stand because this is going on all across the country. Women are being taken out of communities where most women who are affected by this prison system may either have some type of um, drug issues, um, issues that require therapy, or some type of general assistance. Instead, they are being placed inside of cells where they're away from their families, and we have children that are left behind who are suffering terribly without their uh, mothers. The main issue also is that so many communities being affected with women who are going from the community suffer deeply because women are the backbone of any community. Uh, when we take a stand, women are always on the forefront. Women have been in the forefront and we desperately need our women home. Now, you can say that you're going to rehabilitate women, but we haven't found that to be true. You can rehabilitate that without women without putting them behind bars. So with that, I'm taking a stand today, as my comrades are, to address this issue of overcrowding which is not only just taking place in California, here in Pennsylvania, it's all across the country.